Good morning everyone, my name is Akesh Kopta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation I will share with you how to modify the header control to display additional information by going through the master page. To begin with, let's try to understand the architecture a bit. We def definitely have the master pages and every page in RNSpeed Designer uses the a specific master page. In our case, since the default master page is vertical menu master, we basically see that there's a menu on the vert on the uh, left side, header on the top side, footer at the bottom, and the content is where at every single page, content is the section which is getting refreshed, whereas the other three elements remain the same. So for us to put some something at the at the at the header level, we have a couple of choices. One of the choices could be I can easily go in, merge the two cells, and type in whatever text I would like to type in in my um, kind of uh, the cell editor. I can just put the company name Lightspeed Solutions LLC. Fun place to work. So as you can see if I just put a text on the master page and I will rebuild the application this text since it's on the master page and every page inherits from the master page it automatically made it to every single page. So if I go back and try to refresh this particular page, as you can see, definitely my low, my icon came through, or my uh, my text came through. So that's basically one quick way. Of course, we can uh, put some font into it, put some CSS into it to make it nice and pretty. But what if we want this information to be derived from a database? So in this particular case, what we have done is we basically have taken a very simple example. We have basically a table by the name codes and say for example we just want to pick one code out of that uh, code table and display it at the top of the uh, of the page. So the very first thing we will do is we will get rid of this. Now within a master page if you notice you cannot go and build a record control or a table control. The reason being that is not uh, suitable to be uh, basically done within a master page. I'm not sure what the error message was but I'm just going to regenerate it everything looks good. But if you notice, the master page already has some ASCX controls. In this case, we have basically my page header ASCX control and a page footer ASCX control. So if I go to my header ASCX control, here th here's a statement where I have a logo and, and right under the logo, I can put my database related information. So if I just go to my code table, drag and drop that I would like to just have a, a record control it's going to be there's no panel heading all I want is basically one record and since it's a record control I can go to its appropriate data source edit the data source and remove the primary key because I just wanted to pick one code at random out of the database and since I do not want to display a label and the value I can dive into my code fields and get rid of the labels so what I've done here is I basically have gotten myself inside the header ASCX control because header is already on the master page put in a record control and told the record control to pick one record at random of course it's picking the first record right now which is fine we're not going to go into that discussion and if I rebuild my application now my record control is embedded into the header control header control is embedded into the master page and that is what will make it easy for me to just go in and have all the information automatically be accessible from every single page so if I now run this application as you can see RSP designer fetched the value from the database and displayed to you or to me a code when I logged in I can go to anywhere any page I want and this will automatically be visible because it is on the master page inside the header control. I hope you are able to see how easy it is to just go into your header control or the master page and make global adjustments to what you would like to display at the top of the application. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for your time.